Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cover a piece of art with resin. So art resin is a two-part epoxy resin with an easy one-to-one -one mix ratio by volume. So I'm going to show you all the materials I use today and I'm going to put the links in the description below. But I have this one which is the art resin clear coat resin. Um, and then I've also got the hardener which goes with it so you basically use a one-to-one -one ratio so and um, the exact same amount of each so I'm going to show you how I do mix them together I've also covered my work surface with a plastic sheet I find the plastic sheets a lot better than putting newspaper down because uh, the newspaper can stick to the art a bit more um, I basically got this roll from Wilkinson's and um, you just cut it to the size that you want. So you're going to need gloves, loads of gloves. I basically bought them from Poundland. I go through quite a lot each time. So don't bother buying really expensive ones. Just get them cheaply as long as they cover your hands. You're not going to want to get, you're going to want to tie up your hair and just wear like painting clothes because if art resin gets on you, it's really difficult to get off. Um, also, if you do get it on your hands or your skin at all, you can't get it off with water. You're going to have to use. Um, you're going to want to use some isopropyl alcohol. This will get it off, um, but obviously try not to get it on yourself. You're also going to need lots of disposable cups to prop the painting up. Um, I like to use. The small cups for propping the painting up. I like to use the larger clear cups to measure my resin. Um, these again are from Poundland. I did buy a bucket from um, Homebase. I feel like the resin is a lot easier to mix in the bucket than in the cups. You tend to get more bubbles in the cups I find so I do actually prefer transferring it to this bucket to mix in. You do want to use disposable objects, so things that you can throw away or you don't mind getting messy. Um, the art resin will harden and stick to it. And then I've got loads of these sticks, wood, just wooden sticks that I got from Tiger and um, Poundland. Um, these are really good because you can just throw them away after, but it's really good for mixing the resin um, and for getting bubbles out and things like that. So they're just like lolly, lollipop sticks really. So this is the piece that I'm covering today. So it does already have resin on. Um, I did it the other day and I incorporated the resin into the art so I can do another video on that and how I did that. But today I am just going to coat it with a clear coat because there's quite a lot of bubbles and edges that I don't like so I just want to smooth it out do a top layer of clear resin you're going to want to put masking tape around the back edges um, because the resin will get underneath and it will harden and then it will be really hard to peel off I did make the mistake of using this kind of brown tape um, which didn't really come off that well and it's made it all sticky and horrible so I would suggest to use uh, masking tape. So I'm just going to cover my edges. Um, you want to go slightly slightly in from the edge because if you go slightly out the resin will harden and kind of make a drip along the edge. So just go slightly in. just cut off any edges that you have you don't want to leave them uncut as um, you'll get a weird shape with the resin hardening. Okay so the back is all prepped that's ready to go. Um, front, just make sure there's no dust or debris because once the resin is on and it hardens you won't be able to get it off. So just make sure it's all clean. Okay, 
And then I'm going to use my cups to prop the painting up. I'm just going to have four in each corner. What I what I've seen a couple of people do is put the the canvas bit onto the the cups. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because I did do that one time, and when I looked at my painting in the morning, I could actually see the ridge of the cup because of the weight of the resin. I think on the canvas, I could just see the cup. So I'd actually make sure that the the cups support the wooden frame and then not not the canvas. So just put it on each side here, on the other side, okay. So that's fine if the resin comes over onto the cups, um, you can peel that off. Resin usually takes about um, 24 to 48 hours to completely harden and dry. But after 12 hours, it's dry to touch, but it's still a bit tacky. So that's the best time to be peeling off the masking tape and the cups. Um, because once it's dry, dry, um, once it's cured, it's really difficult to get off. So just make sure you just leave it overnight or leave it about 12 hours and then start to peel off the, the uh, masking tape. So that's ready. I'm gonna put my gloves on and I've got a whole load ready in the corner just in case I need them. Also another thing to mention is that you're gonna need a heat gun. I got mine off um, eBay. Uh, and this is used just to get out the bubbles in the resin because you can mix it as much as possible but it still won't get all the bubbles out so you need some kind of flame heat source to get the bubbles out um, also resin will get tacky within about 40 minutes so you do actually need to use it quite quickly um, so you can't be stirring it for 20 minutes it's just going to start to harden so you need to do it quite quickly really um, so I'm going to guess roughly how much resin I need. I'm actually going to coat another piece after this so I'm going to use a, a little bit more. It's always better to have a little bit more <laughs> and you're also going to need to coat the sides. So I'm going to go up to maybe the first the first ridge. Yeah I'm going to go up to the first ridge and see how much see how much so I need to put that back a bit. And then the hardener, the exact same amount. Okay, and then I'm going to pour mine into the bucket to mix, just because I find it easier. And don't let any of it go to waste. Do you need to scrape it out, scrape out everything. Resin can be quite expensive, so I really like to get my money's worth and just use every little bit because you can't really reuse resin once it's hardened you can't like heat it back up or anything that's it so it's good if you can try and get your measurements right so that you don't overcompensate too much I'll try and leave a link in the description um, as to how much, roughly how much resin and hardener you use per square space of canvas. Okay, and then put this one in two. 
and, and basically you're going to want to stir, stir, stir for about a good kind of a good kind of three, four, five minutes really. You'll see bubbles forming. Um, I've tried to get all the bubbles out, but you just can't. So just just until the bubbles are quite small, I feel. So yeah, cue the time lapse. Right, so I've stirred it for a good five minutes. So I'm just going to start by pouring a whole load in the middle. And that should be enough. And basically use it to bring it to the edges. And it doesn't need to be a really thick layer, it depends how many ridges you've got going on. Um, but as long as it coats the whole thing. <laughs> Because I have loads, <laughs> and you can actually see them popping, which is quite cool. So you can tell when they're done. And you might need to do this a couple of times, um, but you don't want to leave it on too long because it will actually burn the painting. the light and see if you can see any yeah so I can see quite a few um, bits that kind of have they look like dimples um and it's basically where the there's not so much resin so I'm just going to put on a, some uh, no gloves just use uh, the bits of leftover resin to fill those and it doesn't matter if it looks like a big blob because it will kind of spread out after a while and then obviously you want to make sure you get the sides as well so just go along with your spatula and just go along the sides I think we're done. I'm going to show you a close up in a minute just to show you how shiny and good it looks. So, just to show you up close what it looks like. So, that's the reflection. It's quite good. No bubbles. There's some details up close. And that should dry pretty well overnight and any of these bits that you can see these drips just use one of these cocktail sticks just drag it along like that and just do that kind of every half an hour or so um, and for a couple of hours and that should be fine Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and see you all soon.